It's new. It's fresh. It's credible. It's information, news, sports, and entertainment from and about the North Coast parishes of St. Anne, St. Mary, and Portland. Now, for the news. I am Sophia Lee Shupam. Here are the headlines. While the celebrations as Lime Hall Football Club makes it into the big league, some of the best from Portland performed an evening of excellence. A new market in Port Maria hasn't made the streets less congested and a Saint Anne man shot dead in the street. Now the details. There was wild celebration at Drax Hall near Saint Anne's Bay Sunday evening July 2 after Lime Hall Football Club made its way into the nation's top football league. Lime Hall, previously known as Benfica, beat Racing FC of Portmore on penalties. This came at the end of the second of a two-legged contest that left the teams tied at four goals each. At the start of the penalty kicks, Racing missed their first penalty after Lime Hall's goalkeeper parried it onto the bar and over the goal. Lime Hall never let go of the advantage, and when Racing's fifth penalty went over the bar, hundreds of Lime Hall supporters raced onto the field, lifting up and slapping their players and dancing with them. They singled out goalkeeper O'Shane Allen, a.k.a. Brockup, who fell with exhaustion and had to be revived. Lime Hall FC under coach Alfred Barnett now joins the champions Mount Pleasant in the Jamaica Premier League for the upcoming season. The full story is on the North Coast Times website. Also see the video on the North Coast Times YouTube channel. The towns of Jamaica remain congested and disorderly. Sidewalks are taken over by vendors, taxis and buses, as well as private vehicles park anywhere. Here's a look at Fort Mario on a Saturday afternoon. Just to notice the state of the street, the sidewalk, people having to walk on the roadway. All that continues, even though a new market was opened over a year ago and the transport center or bus park remains mainly unused. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's easy and it's free. We'll be right back after this break. If you want great Jamaican cuisine in a relaxed atmosphere by the sea, Roxborough Restaurant, Bar and Grill is the place to be. This cozy, private restaurant specialized in seafood plus Jamaican dishes including curry goat, fried and baked chicken. We are open for breakfast at 8 a.m. and serve meals through the day until 10 p.m. Mondays to Thursdays. On Fridays to Sundays, we are open at 8.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Our bar service has got rave reviews. Come experience top-class service and find Jamaican meals. We are easy to reach at St. Anne's Bay next to the Island Traffic Authority. Call us at 876562675 or 536-7950. Transport that is safe, reliable, and on time. That's what we're offering to students living in St. Anne, wishing to journey to Kingston and back for school. Call us at 876 359 3400. Global Addiction VK. Welcome back. The well-known Port Antonia Theatre Group held its annual Evening of Excellence on Saturday evening, July 1, in the Portland capital. The group showcased their winning pieces from this year's festival season in a variety of areas including drama, dance, music, and speech. The theater group has been doing this almost every year for more than two decades and uses the occasion to also recognize with trophies those who participate in the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission's Festival of Arts. The offering also included traditional dances and the play The Rope, written by Dr. Maureen Campbell, founder and director. 
And in a related story on culture from Portland, the late Lenford George Richards, a.k.a. Brutus, musician and businessman, was given a musical send-off last week. Several artists performed at the funeral service Wednesday afternoon, June 28, in Port Antonio. Brutus, who played with notable musicians including Burning Spear, Jolly Boys and Japossels, died Wednesday, May 24, after a brief illness. He was 67. The People's National Party has announced that educator Dr. Kenneth Russell is to be their standard bearer in Southeast St. Anne in the next general elections. A second vote among delegates to decide on the PNP candidate was put off after former cricketer Wavell Hines conceded. That left Russell as the sole contestant. MP Lisa Hanna had already said she will not be contesting the seat. Police are trying to establish a motive for the shooting death of a man near Brownstown, St. Anne on Saturday morning. 32-year-old Jermary Walford of Lincoln Road, Brownstown, was walking on the road in Wilberforce about 2.45 in the morning when a car drove up and gunmen opened fire. Walford died at hospital. That's the news. I am Sophia Lishu Palmer. Remember, you can always find the details on our stories on the website. That's the news from the North Coast Times. You can always find more news and features on the North Coast Times website and Facebook page. You may reach us at WhatsApp 876-503-9995. The North Coast Times News.